everyone, Mary Lou Andre back again with another edition of Beyond Dressing Well Live. Well, welcome March. We have a great new program to welcome the glorious month of March. Our program tonight is actually has two parts to it. First of all, I would like to wish my book, Ready to Wear, an expert's guide to choosing and using your wardrobe a very happy birthday it was published 18 years ago I think it was 18 years ago on March 2nd and it's actually the reason why I know many of you this book has done more for our firm more for my my life um, that I could have ever dreamed possible uh, right away we were able to serve more people. It was one of the happiest years of my life bringing this into the world and I went on an incredible book tour with my good friend um, with my good friend June Tartu who I think is tuning in and it was just such a wonderful uh, period of my life. So we are saying happy birthday to Ready to Wear. We have some really fun giveaways. Hello Eileen, hello Cindy, hello Diane. Um, but I just wanted to start the program and the other really cool thing about the book is this is our methodology. And the fact that we are now, we use it every day with our private clients, but the fact that we can now work with people online, do group programs, have some self-study options, it's really been an extraordinary journey. I also wanted to wish my Aunt Joan a happy birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow. She is down in Sarasota watching with my mom tonight. I will be down in three weeks to personally wish you a happy birthday. But while we stay with the book for a moment and do some book trivia, Put in the chat, if you're someone that's read the book, hello, Nancy, um, what was the book that my Aunt Joan gave me when I was a very young girl that got me on the track to my current career? If anybody knows that, put it in the chat. Um, but Aunt Joan, oh my goodness, you always believed in me and just were, have been just such a wonderful um, role model and support to me my whole life and it means so much that you and my mom turn in tune in every week and I know that you're down there together so hello Margie hello Lisa Duncan so tonight we were thinking we had our staff meeting on Monday and we said let's use the book to do something fun so there's two yes you are right Patricia Cornite it was color me beautiful awesome you are gonna get a free copy of the book for answering that question oh thank you Diane Diane is um actually uh, in the book. You're in the acknowledgments, Diane. I was reading them today. And hello, Sarah. And of course, Sarah wasn't here when the book came out, but the book brought Sarah to me too. So, so much goodness has come from this book. And I know Sarah loves it. And again, it really is our Bible. Uh, and there's happy, there's Aunt Joan coming in. Um, happy birthday, Joan, and happy birthday um, to all of our March birthday folks. So what we're gonna do tonight, so everybody in this community gets a freestyle call as part of being in the group. A lot of you have taken advantage of that. A lot of you haven't. It's 20 minutes. It's free. It's great for you. It gives us a chance to know who's in the community, what kind of problems or issues or challenges. It's a 20 minute call. If you book it between now on Sarah's calendar and Friday at midnight anyone that books a connect call in the month of March is going to get a free book now if you already have the book so that offer is only open to people that have not had a style call already um, but if you have the book or you've had a style connector you're a private client we are also all you have to do is put in the chat happy birthday ready to wear and you will be entered into a drawing 
for a virtual style consultation with Sarah, who is so talented, so amazing. She runs all of our online and virtual programs, as you know, but that will give you a real taste of what we can do. Those are worth $350. You, you get a style questionnaire. Sarah reviews it. She jumps on a Zoom call with you. It can be in your closet. It can be in your office. It can be in your bed, wherever you're comfortable, but you'll get your questions answered and then she will leave the call and she will go into um her world which sarah is is amazing when she goes online to shop and she will send you seven to ten curated shopping links so you'll really get a flavor of uh what we're about and what we do so those are our two offers sarah's going to put them up in the group so anyone that's new here if you don't have the book, if you haven't already had a style consult, again, we offer everybody in the group a free 20-minute style consultation as part of your membership. You are also going to get a book. So all you have to do is get on Sarah's calendar by midnight on Friday. The consultation can be any time in March, and you'll get a book. And those of you that have a book, that are clients already, that have already had a consult, Right, happy birthday, ready to wear, and I see a lot of you already doing that. Um, and you too will be put in a beautiful raffle. And I have to say, big shout out to Sab Sabina Grady on our team. I wasn't thinking it through clearly. She goes, you have to have two offers. You just can't have one for the new people. You've got to have two. So thank you, Sabina. It is truly a team effort over here. But that's what I'm going to say about my beautiful book. I have twin boys, as you know. Another trivia question. How old were my boys when the book was published? If anyone puts that up in the chat, I'll send you a book. Uh, and I'll do one more trivia with the book. Who is the designer of the jacket on the book? If anyone knows who the designer was of that my beautiful gold jacket which I have right here in my office with me you'll also get a book so I just got a case of 25 new books from my publisher I am ready to send them out and we are ready to kick off sp uh, spring in a really big way my boys were four Susan Buckley gets a book <laughs> Diane thought they were seven not quite. They were so little, and they came to the book signing, and it was just um, such a great, again, just such a great chapter in my life. So the second part of our program is, of course, another very special part of our business. We started doing this top 10 list. Oh, my goodness. It's got to be 20 years when we were still mailing out our newsletter. It started as just something I used to be in PR and marketing so it was just something that I came up with and boy did it have a life of its own I have been at the grocery store when people have come up up oh, you've on Larry got it it's a Chanel jacket <laughs> I hope Sarah's tracking all this because we're gonna get these books out uh, I have a couple other trivia questions too that I'll ask later in the program um but we um I forgot what I, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, Yvonne. You got me all excited about the Chanel jacket, um, but oh, back to the top ten list. Yes, we um, we are known for two things around here. Probably three things. We're known for the book. We're known for our top ten. And we're known for our rack. And by the way, you can't get the rack right now, but we are trying. My husband and I are trying our darndest to search and get get another rack offering for all of you. So stay tuned there. But we have had so much fun over the years. Uh, with the book, with the top 10 list, with all of you. So let's get after that list. So number one on our list is the color cobalt blue. You cannot go into a store right now and, and not see that color. So I think you guys know, hi Ann Keating, I think you guys know how we kind of, how we put these lists together. I just like, I am a mall rat, I will admit it. I go to the mall completely incognito and I just walk around but uh, the cobalt blue so then I came home and I'm like what do I have that's cobalt blue so this blouse has in, been in my wardrobe for so long I don't wear it too often because it's, it's, it's a little bit of a strange neckline uh, but I bought this to go of all of you 
from Boston will remember Liz Walker. I was on the Liz Walker show. She had a Sunday morning show um, many years ago. And it was so exciting because I was such a big fan of, of Liz Walker. And it was a sit down half hour interview show and it aired on a Sunday morning. But I bought this blouse. So it's um, it's always, it's a bit in my closet. I love the color. It's one of my best colors. And I, I wore it for you, Aunt Joan. It's one of your favorite colors. So this is like another little birthday shout out for you. Um, but I went in my closet and I'm like, I'm going to wear this tonight. I've never gotten rid of it because it is such a happy memory and a happy color. And I put it on a lot. <laughs> I put it on and take it off. And again, it's really because of the neckline. It's got a bow. It looked really great on the Liz Walker show. I think there's still a picture on our website. And by the way, if you want the top 10 list, go to the website. It was posted yesterday. It was sent out via email. If you're not on our email list, get on our email list. You'll get that list delivered to you the first of the month, every month, uh, let Sarah know what your email is, or you can just go over to the website. Sarah's going to post that list in the group too. Uh, but the colors and the pictures, Sarah did an amazing job putting together the pictures for the blog. So do yourself a favor, look at what I'm doing. But if you really want to see a beautiful visual presentation of the top 10 picks, it's over on the blog. So the first one is the beautiful, hello Beth Miller, uh, beautiful shade of coal ball blue. I also picked up this dress when I was at the mall because the color just, th this is the color that I'm talking about. And we have so many clients right now going to weddings, retirement parties, bridal showers, you name it. Having a, a nice dress in a fresh color might be something that you want to pick up. A couple other things in the cobalt. I am crazy about J. Crew cashmere this time of year. So I picked this up. I love, if, for those of you that watched the video today, our three minute video gave a little bit of a highlight of the top 10. And I had this green J. Crew sweater on. I love how the green and the blue and yellow and pink, they all go together. I also saw this really cool dress because I have an event that I'm going to and I thought, oh, how fun to have some of these pinks. There's no blue in this, but the pinks and the greens and it's a midi dress. And um, I love midi dresses because you can wear them now with tights and then you can wear them with, oh, I had a really fun shoe I was going to show you. Darn it. You can wear them with fun sandals going into the season uh, but whenever I can see whenever I find a floral that still has black in it this time of year I tend to grab it because again I I wear my tall Stuart Weitzman black suede boots whenever I dress up I wear them with tights and the midi dress just allows you to do that so I wanted to show you the midi dress uh, also last year and I had a lot of fun today going through my spring closet because I'm getting ready to go to Florida in a couple weeks. So it gave me a chance to pull some stuff out. But I bought this really cute top, great color, bought it at a boutique down the Cape, brought it, went away someplace last fall. Oh, I know where I was at. Um, I was down in Florida with my husband on a business trip. Had this, didn't really, you know, of course it goes with white, but didn't really have it nailed. And then I bought these... Trina Turk pants at the gift shop. You guys know that this was, we stayed at the, the Ritz and I don't even remember, Sarah probably remembers, whatever the, it was on the uh, East Coast, northern part of Florida, but it was just a beautiful Ritz Carlton, which they have beautiful gift stores. So I bought these, my husband was calling these, like he said, what did you go to the Skittle factory <laughs> and have an explosion? But I got more compliments on these pants. And again, you can see the greens and the yellows and the orange, how great it goes with the cobalt. So that's what I'm going to show you about the cobalt. And anything else? Did I bring anything else? No, that's it. But then what I love to do is get a fresh scarf. This one's from Chico's. Leah Cannon, who also works on our team, has done an amazing job with our new personal shopping link service. I hope you're all enjoying that. Leah just, I just sent her what I'm going to be showing on the live and then she's able to put it up in links and she's able to do many different price points. But I know she was able to find the scarf. I got it at Chico's. I find Chico's has really great scarves. But I love how it 
ties in the green. Can you see the green in the scarf? Whoop, where to go? Oh, there it is. It ties in the green. And the other reason I love this is because, again, it has the black. So I can do it with black pants if I want to. I can do it with jeans. I can do it with green. And I also love that it has this kind of gold and beige in it. I look really good with the beige and the yellow. I'm going to show you a pair of shoes in a minute that makes the whole thing really sing. So that's what I'm going to say about cobalt blue. Get some. It's everywhere and it's super fun and it's an easy color to wear with black and white and beige and off-white and navy and jeans. So right away you get a big pop uh, of spring wardrobe style. Number two on our list, and again, Sarah will put the link into the to the website. Our top 10 is listed. Sarah did an incredible job with the photos. But number two is square neck tops. They also are everywhere. And when I walk into Nordstrom and Saks and and Taylor and Chico's and you know name your other specialty stores and you start seeing certain trends interpreted differently that's when I get excited because I know it's a trend that we want to include because our folks you know our tagline here is everyday style made easy so we want to be able to give people a really good education and then have them shop at the stores and the sizes and the colors that really they enjoy. So when I went through my own closet, I found a couple square necks. This one. Oh. So the, these I just, these are being actually donated. These are from Ann Taylor, but a client said, oh, I'm really not wearing these. So these are going to the Needham Community Council donated but I, I grabbed them because they had the square neck by the way next week we will be at the we're going to be celebrating international women's day which is next wednesday and i'm going to be at the needham community council celebrating our joint project with the council which is the clothing of karma so a lot of this stuff that i'm showing you is actually going with me next week we're going to donate it but that's the square neck i also saw these really fun ones and you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. I just, I just hung them like this. But these are, I think these are, Sarah, help me out here. I think they're Tommy Hilfiger. But I just love that they have this kind of accessory, these buttons. Just put an earring on and you're ready to go. But there's a navy one, there's a green one. You're finding the square neck on everything. Dresses, sweaters, t-shirts, you name it. So that's what I mean about square neck. And I really like the... Um, the square neck on dresses if you're looking, especially the casual dresses if you're looking for something really different. And I see Sarah's posting the giveaway again, so I'll repeat it. Two giveaways tonight. Anybody new in our community, get on Sarah's calendar by midnight this Friday, March 3rd, for a 20-minute connect call. And if you do, we offer those to everybody in our community. They're free of charge. And if you book one, you're going to get a free book. It's a great way for you to get to know us, ask us questions, get a fashion challenge solved with Sarah. She's an expert. And it also gives us great information to know how to serve you best. So that's offer number one. And offer number two, if you already have the book, you've already had a connect call, we're going to be picking one person to win a free two-hour virtual style session with Sarah. Some of that time is spent on Zoom, being coached. The rest of the time, Sarah's gonna go to her favorite websites based on your needs, your preferences, your budget, and pull together seven to 10 links. So thank you for reminding me that, Sarah. Um, but that is what I wanted to show you on the square neck. The next one is, oh, wait, number three is opposites attract. And what I mean by that is if you're craving print, show, show you some of the prints that I've already picked up this season, then combining prints in interesting ways. So the best, the easiest way to do a print on print is with black and white. So these are all from Talbot's. This is like a check pant that I think is like, really a, a cute basic for going into spring. They're still a little bit light, but the weather's going to change in about a month. Uh, Leah, 
who does all the links for us, found a pair of these very similar on Amazon, and they're really cute. Sarah can put that up in the, in the chat, too. But when you start to combine, you know, a stripe with a check, maybe add a pop of color shoe, I am seeing butterflies everywhere. Again, this is Talbot, but it also goes with the check pant. And if you add, you know, one of these brighter colors that I've been talking about, even the green over, those of you that are looking for a little St. Patrick's Day action, we have another really fun show on St. Patrick's Day. This is the first year since I've started doing the live show that I'm not going to be in Florida on St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to do a St. Patrick's Day show for you guys. But I just love this look. If you're looking for a St. Patrick's Day look, this is J. Crew the sweater and the check pant. I just think that that's really uh, a really nice look. And of course, Talbot's had these little shoes that you could add. So it doesn't take much. And I do start my own closet. I just told you about my blouse. Blouse has been in that closet for oh my, at least 10 years, if not longer. And of course, I also like to just grab any kind of spring floral. This this is going on Miss Susie. She was supposed to make an appearance tonight, and she ran out of here. But I'm going to tie this on Susie's, Susie's uh, around Susie's neck, and I can also use it on pocketbook. So if, if you're a crazy dog person like me, <laughs> you can use these little small scarves. A lot of people never know what to do with them. I do like to use them to add a little bit of color. I like to put them on a handbag, and I do like to use them on my sweet puppy. Okay, Sarah's saying another book trivia. Let's see. Next one. How many pants did I write about? How many black pants did, were in my closet that I wrote about? A lot of people say to me, do you really have that many black pants? I probably have more now. But if you get that one right, you'll get another um you'll get another book. Thank you, Sarah, for reminding me to do that. So that's what I'm going to say on the opposites attract. It's all about, I'm just using the black and white, pop of color, but I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. Patricia's saying, I love Talbots. Those check pants with the cobalt blue is awesome. Yes, it is. I love it. They've done a phenomenal job this year, Patricia. I think you work there. They have done a great job merchandising that store. I was having a blast in there the other night. So, a little shout out to Talbots, Massachusetts based Talbots. Woohoo! All right. So, the next one is up updated weather gear. I love this one. So I don't have much to show you, but I did, those of you that have been on following us for a while, this is my yellow raincoat with a hood. Sarah can back me up here. We always try to get people in a raincoat with a hood. You got to go to the hairdresser, weather happens. But I bought this when I went to Ireland last year, and I always wanted a bright yellow longer this one's I always like longer by the way because it just I'm like I wear leggings a lot and it just gives you more coverage but this is Sam Edelman I think the amazing Leah found it so I searched for this high and low before I found it and I snatched it and of course with the warm winter we've been having I've been wearing this a lot to make it a little bit warmer I put a sleeveless puffer vest inside, black turtleneck. It's got the black hardware. I wear it with my, my black Uggs, and it is just so wonderful and easy to pack. You guys didn't believe me that I bought like four coats <laughs> to Ireland, I did, but they pack, and when you add the, um, the light puffer vest, it's a really great way to transition. Cindy Wells hand says 14 black pants. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to check, Cindy. I think it was 13, but you're probably right. Um, so, oh, page 101. Cindy gets a book. <laughs> Too funny, Cindy. Okay, so another book trivia. Very, very funny. Page 101. Noted, Cindy. That is really fun stuff. And also, again, Sarah did a beautiful job showing this in the blog. But... Um, these are just, you know, some fun little rain boots. My son, John, oh my goodness, my both of my boys just have the best friends. They're like, I can't even tr keep track of them. But John came home with 10 pairs of these. He went to a sample sale, and this company was going under, 
and he bought them for everyone for Christmas. And I'm also bringing a bunch of these to the Needham Community Council next week because I got them all over my house. But um, these are just so cute. So you know what I mean? Hunter boots. Have fun with your rain, rain gear. Yellow coats. I saw Talbot's has a hot pink one. It's not in the store because I was going to grab it to show you guys, but it's in the catalog. Um, colorful boots, colorful hats, colorful umbrellas. Uh, I think Leah put an umbrella from Amazon in our link tree. I think it's like $14 or something. So uh, fashion's where you find it, but that is number four is the updated weather gear. Fancy hoodie. This has already gotten a lot of buzz on the uh, Instagram today. I had a couple comments. People sent me messages. One of my good friends, Mary Ann, who is out in Silicon Valley, she's like, I love that look. So it's definitely more casual than business. And there's a couple brands that kind of specialize in it. Sarah has a lot of them posted on the website in the top 10. But I didn't get out to the store today to shop for it. So this is the closest that I have. This is a Zella. And I love this little thing. But you see how it has like the built-in hood. So you're seeing a lot of, like there's one right now that's kind of a conservative gray jacket with the black hoodie. So they're built-in. They're kind of like a dickie. Do you guys know what the word dickie is? <laughs> but you can uh, a lot of them you can take in and out. So if you're somebody that really wants to kind of up the ante on your athleisure wear, I love that style. And I'm, I'm definitely buying one. I might be wearing it to, to Bell of the Ball, actually. But that's what I mean by that. It's just, you know, part blazer. This is more, this is Zella. So I bought this in the athleisure wear department. But you're seeing a lot of these. Some of the really high-end designers are selling these for over a thousand dollars there's a price there's one that we're doing for a lot of clients that's right at about a three to four hundred dollar price range but it's it's a beautiful jacket and there are people that have the jobs and the lifestyles that going from one client to the other it just makes sense so keep your eye open to those as well a lot of people already told me they liked that one on our list so the next one is utility skirts. So I don't actually have one to show you, but again, they are all over the blog that we posted today. But I know that I love my utility cargo pants. It's one of my favorite. These are rag and bone. And I do practice what I preach because I went to my, my, light, my spring fall closet and I've got this black sweater that I wear. Oh my goodness really hard in like September October and then I wear these pants like in August they're linen but I wear them with a black t-shirt so right now if you kind of like that cargo look which really does so many of you tell us that you want that kind of elevated casual I think the cargo pants this season cargo skirts are everywhere they're just so utilitarian with the pockets they also if you're somebody that needs to kind of balance out your figure the pocket so if you're somebody that is is bigger here bigger shoulders bigger best line the pockets can really balance out your figure so um don't just pass these things over i have seen cargo skirts at everywhere from target to really high-end designer i actually saw one at nordstrom the other night but it was four hundred dollars so sorry guys i wasn't going to buy a four hundred dollar skirt to show on on the live show um but that's what i mean about utility skirts number seven split front pant hems and i was an early adopter to this trend i've had these these are i think these are banana republic but i've had these for a couple of years and this is what i mean about the split hem they're really everywhere. They're just, I've seen them on the vegan leather. I've seen them on sweatpants, what you'd wear to the gym. But that's what I mean about the split hem. I do like how flattering they are because they give you that little kick at the bottom, which again can really balance out the rest of your figure. Even those Talbot pants that I was showing you guys a minute ago have a little bit of a, uh, a slit at the split front at the at the front of that hem. Number eight, and how am I doing on time, Sarah? I do not have my watch on. I had to wear one of my, my picks on my wrist here. Um, number eight is spring leather jacket. So what I like about that trend is those of you who travel, like you can literally 
fold these up into your suitcase. So Sarah's telling me it's 7.30. I'm going to go five minutes late tonight. We did celebrate the book, and we have a top ten list, so I think we can go. And it's March 1st. It's the beginning of the season, so we'll, we'll do five more minutes, then I'll wrap up. But I was really excited when I found these jackets. They are very affordable. They're guests. They are also in the links if you're interested. And I got an extra small and a small, and the small definitely fits me better. And then when I came back in my closet, I grabbed, so these were mail ordered. But again, they're vegan. They're not real leather, and you can fold them up. They're just, they're just fantastic. I kind of think of them as a modern cardigan, really. But when I came home, which is what I always do, whenever I buy something, I see what do I have. And I had this halogen. So this is from Nordstrom, a couple years old. But I loved the blush. I don't know if you can see that. The blush top that I already had goes really great with the blush jacket. And then those kick those split hem jeans, they're higher waist, they look fabulous with this. So of course this one's the extra small, and the white is a small, and the small fits me better, so I'm just gonna swap it. And then I wanna step further, and I have this scarf that I love, that I wear in the spring. I do a lot of olive green, so I love how the olive green and the pinks, but even that just looks so pretty with the blush leather. So not everything is super bright right now. There's definitely some tonal look, some softer look. So if you're, you're somebody that likes more of these soft pastels, they're out there. But these jackets, it says $159. I know I didn't pay that. I, they're on sale. Sarah can put them up in the chat, but they're really good looking. Um, for the for the money and again I just like the cut the style and I love how it goes the tonal tonal look with it all right so two more and then we're gonna wrap up remember book a connect call with Sarah on her calendar by midnight Friday and you will get a free book we offer everyone in our community a complimentary 20 minute style of assessment and we're just adding the book because frankly we wanted to celebrate the book and we're just adding another layer to that call and we're happy to do so if you already have the book or you've already had a style call just put happy birthday ready to wear and we're also going to pick a winner that will get uh a style con virtual style consult with sarah which is about two hours of time you jump on a zoom call and then she does some shopping for you which is super cool so i'll give you kind of a feel for what what we do around here which is pretty amazing we have people that never go to the store anymore because we've gotten so good with the online shop so that's what i'll say about that number nine is exaggerated accessories so when i was at the store i didn't really buy much but i came home it's just like this is even not as exaggerated as what you're seeing in the fashion magazines. You're seeing a lot of jewelry, like bracelets that go all the way up the arm. You're seeing earrings that really graze the shoulder. So even a little bit longer than this. I do have a pair. I just couldn't put my hands on them. These are Stellar and Dot. I think there's some Stellar and Dot. Hello, Alicia. Uh, but this is Stellar and Dot. So you're seeing earrings that are really long, that rest on the shoulder. You're seeing really big rings. You're seeing, oh, big sunglasses. So very, very exaggerated. Um, hello, Sheila. Um, you're seeing very exaggerated accessories. And then number 10 is my favorite pick. I can't believe I put it as number 10. I usually put shoes last. But... I am so in love with these sneakers, and I'll tell you why. So these are Paul Green, super comfortable. I definitely paid up. The reason I paid up is because I am doing Bell of the Ball in a month, April 1. Sarah and I will be at Bell of the Ball. And last year, I don't know if you guys remember, when I was on crutches, because I had the wrong shoes on, and I worked that event for 12 hours, <laughs> and I got a big old infection. Hello, Fran Leonard. I got a big old infection. Could not, almost missed a trip. So I was like, I am getting really comfortable sh shoes. Plus their platform, which I've just been dying for. So I got two. These are white 
and these are more fabric. And then these are kind of ivory, and they just look so much better on my foot, and they're actually more comfortable. So if you're really looking for comfortable shoes, um, actually, sorry, you should tell our buddy Claudia down in Falmouth. I know she's looking for comfortable shoes. These would look great on her, but I just love them. And what I wanted to leave you with is, again, when you start to train your eye for color and what shades look good on you, there is a lot to the color story, no question. I don't subscribe to you can never wear black if black isn't your color. Like I'm an autumn, you know, some of those color experts would say, you know, you, you can never wear black. But look how pretty this scarf, okay, it's got the cobalt, it's got a little bit of the sky blue, it's got the black. It's got this beigey taupey color. See how pretty with the shoes? It looks way better than the white. This looks better. And this on my foot looks better. I've kind of stayed away from this trend because I feel like I'm all feet a little bit. But when I put it on with the this color, this kind of oyster, I guess I would call it. And then I was like so happy when I was shooting the video when I saw how well that went. And then, as you know, you know, this is going to go, my new little leather jacket is going to go with the scarf. If I wear jeans, I'm going to break up, you know, it won't be too much leather, leather. So I'm just so happy. I got my Bell of the Ball shoes. Thank you, everyone, because I was out shopping for you guys. And I, I picked up a couple things that I'm going to keep, definitely. Uh, and I hope that I inspired all of you to embrace March. Life is so serious. If your clothing is driving you crazy, there's something wrong. I hope that I have inspired you to look at some things in your closet, like my beautiful blouse. I love these earrings that my good friend Janine made me. They're green. St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Embrace the season. Embrace some new color. Shake up your wardrobe. Pick up a couple of fresh things that make your heart sing. It is a long week, long month here. Spring is coming. Next week we'll be back celebrating our friends over at the Needham Community Council where we donate everything. And also you're going to meet three of the women that have benefited from that program. Three of them are gonna model some of the looks. So the Karma of Clothing program is a phenomenal program that we run with our foundation. And once a month we work with women that are in need of some self-care, a need of a wardrobe. Um, they've come upon troubling times and we're there to catch them and give them a whole bunch of confidence, a whole bunch of clothes. So you're gonna meet three of those lovely ladies. The week after, we'll be doing a St. Patrick's Day show. And then I'll be in Florida the, the third week of March. And then we're gonna end our live show in March. We're gonna have a celebration, really fun celebration for our 90 Days to Stellar Style program, our first group of graduates will be graduating in March. We had the most amazing group of women. I think some of them are on the call. Hello to all of you. We made some significant changes in that program. We're making a few more. So we are going to really celebrate those women in a big way and also have a few surprises for all of you on how you now can also we have a few more ways to take that program, which is really, really exciting. Remember that our Dressing Well Method self-study is available to you. It's $2.99, you can purchase it right on our website. It walks you through our methodology. It is a great way to get started with us. A lot of people that have bought that have, are in, actually they're in the 90 day program now. And those of you that have the book already, it's a nice sister component to that. And those of you that have never met us, welcome. Uh, get on Sarah's calendar. Again, anybody in our community, we give anybody a 20-minute complimentary style connect call. We've met so many of you that way. I think since I started this group, I've probably done over a hundred of those connect calls, if not more. Uh, but we're happy to do that. And again, have a wonderful March. We'll be back next week with a brand new program. And as we always say, when you show up, we show up and we have a really good time. And I hope one or two or maybe a few more of these ideas resonated with you and helped you put a little bit of spring in your step. 
as we sail toward much nicer weather. Okay, thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you to the amazing Sabina, who does all of our marketing, to the amazing Leah, who runs our online operation and comes up with all those great links. We are excited to head into spring with all of you. And if you do want to get on my calendar, it's always open to you as well. All right, we'll see you again next week. Have a great rest of the evening. I'm going to go grab some dinner. See you later. Bye-bye.